Hi and welcome to Chindu.org. In this episode of Awesome August, we're going to learn how you can save a lot of time by using the lock features feature of Excel. <laughs> so let's get into Excel workbook where I have a demonstration thing set up. And um, let's imagine you're building a, a regional sales report. It could be you know regional sales report or it could be any other things uh, but uh, let, let's imagine something like this where uh, you're looking at a lot of data uh, at a reporting level you're reporting by individual regions what is the total revenue how much is the quantity and what are the top three uh, products or individual sales people or whatever within that region and uh, you would like to have some sort of consistent formatting applied but the thing is any formatting you do you will have to do it uh, one two three four five six times for each of those items uh, and because when you when you're creating a report like this there is a very high chance that you don't hit the right formatting in the first try you you keep on improvising until you come up with the formatting that looks uh, really good and eye-catching and then uh, we want to go ahead and apply this to all the regions. So as a best practice, whenever I teach dashboards uh, in a live class or on my online classes, what I tell people is uh, do the formatting for one item first and then repeat the same principles, same formatting ideas, color schemes, font sizes and whatnot uh, throughout the report. This way you uh, you don't have to do a lot of manual work you you just do it once once you are satisfied with that look then you can clone it across your report parts so i'm going to show you how this this can be done uh, maybe we can although these are currencies and numbers because at a report level they don't really have to be right aligned all the time uh, so maybe uh, we can center align the value so that uh, each region would look like a vertical silo and uh, the region name can be in, in bold and the currency figure which is uh, the total revenues in that particular region that seems to be the most important number here so I'm going to make it uh, very big and apply bold formatting as well as the currency formatting to it I'm going to press control 1 and uh, set up currency with the uh, zero precision so we get something like that and then uh, the quantity is is going to be in it's a number with thousand separator so should there be more than 1000 quantity uh, we will see a comma uh, so that it's easy to read and uh, we could uh, set that font to either 16 points or maybe 12 points would do uh, and these ones I'm going to reduce it to 10 points and change the color so these are your top three but they're not really as important as those two numbers so we we have a visual hierarchy set up with that likewise these are currency numbers too so i'm going to format them as currency by selecting them pressing control one and changing the format okay so once we have all of that uh, if you want we could go ahead and apply some sort of a fill color there Maybe that's too dull. Let's go with something a little more dominant like that. And I'm going to select all of this and uh, press Control 1 again. This time go to border, select a dull color like that and apply just horizontal borders. Okay, This is where your taste will come into picture but uh, whatever works for you, you can go with it. So once we come up with the formatting that, that is somewhat consistent and we are happy that this is really good looking you can then go ahead and copy the formatting to rest of the items but when you do that if you want to copy the formatting of one range to another one option we could use is select the source range and click on the format painter and select the target range this will do it but because we have six such things we would have to do it one at a time okay so select it click click select click click you know that's a lot of clicks so i'm going to undo all of these steps and i'm going to show you a faster mechanism 
we simply select this and we double click the format painter this is what i mean by locking a feature when you when you are using a feature like format painter there are few other areas where we could lock these things uh, you can double click and that kind of sticks the format painting okay and then simply click on each of those items and once you're done just press escape and your locking is gone and you would get uh, this consistent formatting applied throughout okay so format painter is one such powerful feature which can speed up the formatting and you can go even faster with the locking feature by double clicking on it what else can we use the double click on for example let us say you want to draw a box around individual region so that it looks like a box of course we could apply borders but you want to have something fancy so let's say we want to insert a rectangle shape and uh, we want to draw a rectangle when you when you want to draw a rectangle and uh, that should cover the same area as as the cell ranges you can hold down alt key uh, and draw so that what happens is when you're drawing it will kind of stick to the cell borders so hold down the alt key and we get this rectangle i'm going to fill with the no fill and set up outline color to something strong like that and uh, maybe adjust the weightage to two and a half points so we get this nice boxy effect uh, the advantage of a shape instead of cell borders is that you could apply uh, some sort of uh, effects like a drop shadow effect or anything like that. don't go overboard with this but you know something like that can can add a lot of visual uh, fanciness or visual interesting factors to your report but if you want to draw so many rectangles you know drawing one is fine but what if you wanted to draw multiple rectangles uh, that means the next rectangle you will have to go again and select and do it well if you want to keep drawing rectangles you can also double click the rectangle box or any any of the shapes here and lock that so uh, that was very fast so i'm going to uh, I think uh, right click and say lock drawing mode and then keep clicking or drawing as many rectangles as I want okay once you finish drawing them you could then go ahead and press escape and that kind of locking will go away and you you are now out of the rectangle drawing spree you could draw rectangles you could draw lines you could draw any other shapes or whatever you fancy but uh, the double click feature in the context of uh, shapes is basically it locks the drawing mode so that you could go ahead and build all the shapes that you want for your report again a very very powerful way to save time now although we did draw so many rectangles we probably don't need that many rectangles so i'm going to do it the right way now uh, i'll lock this and then i'll hold the alt key and uh, draw one rectangle at a time for each of those once that is done we would like to have all these boxes look like that box too so select that box go to home double click on format painter and apply the formatting and there is your regional sales report which is having a very very consistent look but doesn't take a lot of time to format i mean i'm explaining in this video so it took me maybe six or seven minutes but if you're doing this on your own you could kind of come from raw data to this kind of a very cool and sophisticated looking shape in in less than 2 minutes or maybe even less time if you if you kind of get used to it so uh, locking features is a very powerful way to save time go ahead and try it you can lock features with the format painter uh, you can lock feature by selecting a drawing shape and locking it and using those things thank you so much for watching this video if you know another powerful way to lock features please share in the comments on our youtube video or on chendu.org blog if you are watching this on youtube i would really appreciate if you can give us a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button right beneath the video also consider joining our channel for more excel tutorials and tips just a bonus tip because i love you so much and you're sticking until the last seconds of the video you can apply both of these principles that is format painter and uh, and shape drawing lock mechanisms 
in MS Word and PowerPoint also. So any other MS Office applications that are uh, that are out there, you can use the same ideas and you can you can use them, you can lock them, and you can save more time. All the best and stay awesome. Bye bye.